All right. Hello, everybody. Hello, Jake. Uh, just hey. wanted to say hey to the guys watching on YouTube. Um, this is a very exciting day for me. I want to introduce you guys to uh, my special guest, Jake Raby. Um, so Jake is on today because we're going to do a little fun collaboration together. Uh, I've known Jake for a while through my channel and through his channel and through Porsche engine talk and stuff. Um, but this is our first time meeting virtually. So it's pretty cool to have you on, Jake. Thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah, glad to be here. So it's a, a cold morning, our first real cold yes. morning here. So uh... <laughs> yeah, we're, we're both in the sweatshirts. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I just wanted to let everybody on the channel know about this cool little project that we're going to work on together. Um, I, you know, have uh, people that have followed my channel know that the engine is out of my uh, 06 Cayman S and that I was going to do an engine rebuild because there was obviously some more scoring on it because it's an 06 Cayman S. Um, so I weighed my options and uh, came across, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because there's so many options out there available. Um, but uh, I decided to go with uh, Jake and his M9X experience class. So um, I've heard many great things about it. Talked to Jake a little bit about it. And um, I really don't fully know what to expect, but that's why Jake is here. So we can talk about uh, what I can expect out of this class. Yeah, so, you know, I started classes for these engines in 2007. And, and you know, we talk about options. Back then, there were no options. And that actually, you know, options are both good and bad. Um, you know, back in the day, you used to have to really work real hard in this industry to earn a reputation. Uh, I'm now 31 years into this uh, Porsche world uh, after having my first paying customer for a Porsche engine in a barn with a dirt floor. Um, and you know, so you, don't recommend you really that, right? had to work hard. To earn. Yeah. So, you know, used to, you had to work really hard to earn, uh, your place today. You just have to pretty much run some ads, have a nice looking website. Um, and that's really pretty much about it. So sometimes the options are not really options. And that's something that I see people having a hard time with. So I, I, I commend you for, you know, doing the research and um, not just looking at the, you know, the face value of the book and, and trying to judge that whole book by its cover, uh, like too many people do. And I think one reason for that is because people do not understand engines anymore. You know, they want to understand a device. They want to understand a keyboard. Um, so they don't understand what a piston is. They don't understand what piston rings are. They don't know what different cylinder platings or coatings are. Uh, they don't know what they don't know. So they think that every rebuilt engine out there is the same, but the term rebuild encompasses, you know, 450 parts. But ultimately, an engine is, is much more than the sum of its parts. So um, that's what you're really going to learn with this, because a lot goes into the recipe, a lot goes into the preparation, the machine work. And the good thing for you is you're going to end up with a, a proper education in assembly using my video series, my workbook, and other resource materials that I have created. Um, also, you're going to get all your torque values through my resource materials, a lot of which are no, not really available. Uh, you're going to get all the clearances. I'm actually going to do most of that preparation work for you, uh, about 90% of it. There's just a few things you're going to have to do yourself, but I will give you those clearances. Porsche didn't give us any of that for this engine. And with all the air-cooled stuff prior to this, you can look up anything. With these engines, everything was kept under their hat. They didn't share anything. We've had to create it all from scratch. And, you know, that's good and bad. It was really difficult to kind of earn our place with this just because we had to do it all ourselves from empirical information that we basically derived by making mistakes and, and also having great achievements. Yeah, that's uh, one of the things I'm excited about is there will be less opportunity for me to screw things up because uh, you're going to be there all along the way. And I think a really cool thing for my viewers, too, is uh, we're going to do some Zoom sessions along the way and record those so that they can kind of see some of the intermediate progress steps that you don't normally get to see. So I'm excited yeah, about that. That would so. be cool. And so what, we, what we're going to do, just so you know, 
is my my assembly video, the basically the the step by step of this whole entire thing. That's a video that you can purchase without buying this M9X experience. It just comes along with it, uh, and that's sold through the Knowledge Group uh, as well as as Ellen Engineering and some other retailers. But at the end of the day, it's 20 stages of assembly that encompasses about 15 hours of actual recording time or playing time. And, you know, the way that I did it, I wanted somebody to be able to hit play and pause. So they would be able to play the video, see what I did, sometimes rewind it a couple of times, okay, and hit pause and then do that. So when we talk about putting pistons in, we're, we're going to go over the tools for that. We're going to go over the special processes for that. We're going to go over lubrica lubrication for that or sealants for that, whichever one you may be using. And then we're going to do that. You're going to watch me do it. Then you're going to hit play. You're going to hit pause, and then you're going to do it. So that's the reason we did that. So myself and my producer, Bobby Mitchell, uh, when we did that video about five years ago, um, it took us three weeks of shooting to do that with five different cameras, different angles. You know, it was almost like a cooking show where we got one over the top showing things. Um, it was a bear to do, and that's why it's not a cheap video. Um, because we had to collect about 150 hours of footage to end up with that 15 hours of edited footage. And of course, you know, some people look at it and they think, you know, this is kind of boring. It's not entertaining, right? This is, this is an educational experience. You know, you don't go sit in a classroom and expect to be entertained. Um, and that's the way this is. So, and, and that's another thing I'll tell you, you know, about here. We talked about this a little bit. You know, I offer this M9 experience two different ways. Um, you know, you were already well advanced and you built stuff before. You've actually helped other people do an M96 engine. It wasn't one like this. So you had enough experience that I was willing to say, hey, you know, we can do this virtually uh, without you having to come to my location. Um, you know, typically when I do a class like this, it's a one-on-one -on -one or a two-on-one -on -one type scenario, and people come to my location, they stay there for a week, we follow the video, we follow the resource materials, they do the work themselves, and I'm over their shoulder. Um, and I don't sit there and say, don't do this and don't do that. Sometimes I'll let them make a mistake, and I'll say, stop, you did this, now what did you do wrong? Um, so Mark and Tina Davies were the most recent people that attended the, the hands-on M9X experience, and they are, they've got five 996s, a turbo, all the others are naturally aspirated. I've built several engines for them. I'm actually doing a, a 4.2 liter R42 for their 996.1 right now, which is, the, <clears throat> it, as far as I know, the largest uh, 996.1 engine that's ever been built. Um, Something might be out there that's as big or bigger, but I don't think so. Um, but that that engine is something I'm doing for them now. But at the end of the day, they used the M9 experience, and they were able to build the engine at my facility. Then they were able to take it home, install it in their car, bring it here to flat six. I put it on the chassis dyno. We went through all the motions, did all the break-in, did all that sort of thing. Um, you know, did some alterations to things. And um, we ended up sending them out on about a 15,000 mile excursion directly following that. And Rensport was part of that. So they drove from their house in Tennessee all the way to Rensport. And then they nice. made a lot of stops along the way. And then they hit a lot of national parks on the way back. And they were gone for something like a month or maybe a little bit longer. Wow. But they, they did. That sounds like an amazing trip. Yeah. yeah. So I was able to hook them up with some friends and say, hey, you know, you need to do some oil changes while you're gone go to this guy's shop. I've known him for 30 years, you know, so they were able to go do those oil changes themselves. But Tina built a lot of this engine herself, you know, so she was just as involved in this as her husband was. And, and she's big about all this. So some of the pictures that, that I've got to share, you know, you can see blue fingernails in the pictures and they're not clean. Uh, she's, she's, she's working. Um, so, you know, that's cool to me. I get more out of that than building an engine myself. And then, you know, I've been doing these classes for so many years, and, and together between hands-on classes uh, and the classes I used to do for World Pack Training Institute, where Tony Callis and I traveled around the country training for World Pack on these engines, I've instructed 1,400 technicians about these engines since 2007. Um, I've met a lot of cool people, and 
and I sometimes would learn stuff in classes as well. Sometimes people come into class and they would bring parts that were broken or weird stuff. And I'm like, you know what? I haven't seen that yet, you know? Um, so that was cool. I'm but trying yeah. to teach you some stuff with some yeah. weird stuff. You, you never learn it all. <laughs> you, you never learn it all. This engine will teach you until you're in your brain. You know, you're, you're never going to know it all. Yeah, one of the great things that I think why it's such a good fit for this channel, like you were saying in the classes, that it's very step by step showing you what to do, not entertainment, but educational. And that's the purpose of my channel. I try to make it educational. Like, like you said, you watch some, you pause it, you rewatch some and uh, you know exactly how to do it. So, yeah. for example, for the, the engine we're working on, when I took it out of the car, I have you know, a two stage video of every single bolt, every single hose that you have to disconnect to remove the engine from the car. Like anybody that has the tools um, and, you know, maybe a lift uh, can watch the video and remove the engine from their car and ship it off to LN or you. So um, I like, I like the detailedness of it. There's a lot of, bigger channels out there there's a lot of entertainment channels i'll call them because they're like here's a car this is what it sounds like when you drive it fast and you know they get a million views because it's entertainment that you know it's uh, a wider array of people that will watch it and care about it but if you want to know how to build an engine you come to jay gravy if you want to know how to take an engine out of a car, you come to Help Me DIY and you watch that channel. So I think it's going to be a good uh, good combination. Yeah, and I, I, I have been working more on some, some newer resource materials. We're constantly learning stuff. So our channel, Ren Vision, and, and we're bringing back the Rencast, which is the podcast version of that as well in 2024. So we've had a lot of transitional things with the merger of LN engineering and flat six innovations uh, over this year and and that merger has been complete since july so it's time to to ramp up those other videos again uh, and get the podcast going again yeah awesome so i guess the first step for me i've already completed i got the engine out of the car i got the block packed up and shipped to ln and so i guess the next step is ln is going to do some work on my block yeah so what you're doing, we're doing with this M9 experience for you is a, a very exclusive process. Now, this is, you know, you, you've got Nikki's and then you, you've kind of got Nikki's version FSI. Um, and, and as as the developer for all the Nikki stuff for going back since 1999, when Charles got a hold of me and said, hey, we got a cool idea for our college project, we need somebody to help us. I'm like, look, I won't just help you. I'll be your first customer and you need to make this a business. That was 99. And so we've been working together ever since. Um, and, you know, over this time, I've been like, hey, here's an idea. I'm going to give you this idea. I want you to do it. And then I'm going to build it. And if it works, it's mine. So that was the first thing that we started to do to really work together years ago. So what you're getting is 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 something that's exclusive to my program, and it allows us to take that Cayman block and and do things with it that otherwise can't be done. It also costs a significant amount more money because we have to uh, to do things that are difficult. Um, you know, and as we say, the the difficult stuff we do right away, the impossible takes a little while longer. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so normally when you ship your block to LN, you get the option of going from my 3.4 to a 3.6 or a 3.8. Those are their standard options. So tell them what we're going to do. <laughs> so we're so the 3.6 would would basically end up you would end up taking it to a 99 millimeter bore. With the 3.8, we're going to go to a 101. You have a 4.1 liter, okay? So we are going to take that to a little bit more than a 102 millimeter bore, but we're also going to stroke the crankshaft and we're going to change the connecting rod length as well as the type of connecting rods that are used. And so with that comes completely different bearings all the way through and through, and, and virtually we're working with a stroker crank. Um, so these are things that are well outside the bounds of what you could do in a garage um, if you were sane, obviously not saying somebody can't do this in their garage, but you would have to, let, let's just put it this way. 
you're probably going to get it wrong four or five times before you ever get it right uh, if you're doing this on your own. So, uh, right. Yep. So, yes. So, I'm, uh, I'm super excited to get started on the project. Um, so, thank you for joining me here and thank you for helping guide me through this. And uh, look forward it's to fun our because, next time. You know, a lot of these, a lot of these, yeah, I was going to say a lot of these channels, like you said, are entertainment value. Um, and I've had people make posts, you know, talking about me saying, I, I don't like to watch that guy's videos because they're not entertaining. Hey, I want it, right? <laughs> um, they watch the video and they learn something because, yeah. honestly, you know, we don't have to be entertained to learn. Um, you know, I, I think most entertainment is not educational. So, you know, I want people to learn essential skills for putting these engines together and learning discipline. That's one of the big things. I don't just show you how to put it together. I teach you how to have the right mindset, that performance mindset, right? I teach you about cleanliness being next to godliness. Uh, I teach you about discipline where you're not putting an engine together, or listening to the radio or drinking beer. Uh, this is a different world. So you're getting more out of it than just bolting something together. It's not something where you're going to bring your friends over and have a party. This is an individual effort. And if you follow the things that I've set forth, you will be successful. Yes, and I've only built uh, almost one full engine so far, and I've already learned many of those lessons. <laughs> you learn them pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, very, very quick, very quick. I've, I've actually got a 19-year-old a apprentice here who doesn't know what he wants to do. And um, life isn't easy for him because he doesn't understand discipline yet. And that's the big thing that I'm trying to really sometimes almost beat into him um, is that discipline. But, you know, as a Marine, we, we, we greatly uh, we take pride in, in having great discipline with all the things that we do, whether it's marksmanship or, or building an engine or instructing a class. Um, you know, the most important six inches on the battlefield was between your between your head right here, right here between your temples. So uh, it's one of those things where you've got to be in the game to play the game the right way. And that's something I'm really going to help you with and, and help you how to think. I'm going to let you get in a little bit of trouble so you respect the process. If you don't get in trouble, you don't respect the process. Yeah, that's uh, one of the biggest ways to learn is through failure, obviously. And so on my channel, I always leave in my failures. And I think everybody appreciates that because seeing the right way to do it is obviously helpful. But seeing the wrong way to do it is obviously more helpful in some, yeah. in some cases. Well, as, as we say, Mr. Mistake is the only teacher. Yeah, there you go. That's a good one. All right. Well, thank you, Jake. And uh, we will be back together shortly um, making some more videos, making yeah. some engines. It'll be great. So your block is in the process of having the double process done, as we call it. So that's going to take a little bit longer. I'm working on getting the rest of your components together. Um, and then you'll be packaging everything up and sending it down to me for dynamic balancing. I'll shoot, shoot videos of that. We'll maybe do some videos from the balancer, show you what that's all about. And then we'll be getting things prepped up and we'll be moving on with this M9 experience. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, have a good one. You too. I hope you guys are as excited about this as I am. Really looking forward to this. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Click the little bell notification down there so you'll be notified when these videos come out. Give the video a thumbs up, spread the word, and if you have any questions for Jake in this video or any of the future ones, leave them in the comments below. Give you a chance to ask him something directly. I will pass it along or he'll be reading the comments and maybe answer you directly. So thanks again for watching, guys. See you soon.